Hello, this is a uh, 8cars video tutorial. This is basically uh, at this phase, uh, I want to explain a little more in detail what you have to do once the flight is finished and you want to send in your flight report. Um, basically, uh, this is how you see FTG 8cars once the flight is finished. You'll see all the times have been recorded. Uh, you'll see the total times and how much fuel was consumed. Uh, if we go back to uh, initial, this is the page where we input all the initial data, departure airport, destination airport, aircraft type, flight number, and all that. And as you can see in this flight, my flight was from Honolulu to uh, Lihue. Uh, all the time zones are correct, type of aircraft using FTG codes, and this was Hawaiian Airlines Flight 343 and our aircraft registration. And so this is how you'll see it once, you know, I already closed down Flight Simulator. Um, I basically landed, uh, went to the gate, set my parking brake, and turned off the engines. And that's how FTGA cars knew the flight was finished, and it wrote in the, the final times and all that. And the, you can see there's uh, one more page after this. You just click Next. This will show you cruise altitude, speeds, distance, landing speed, uh, landing velocity. And as you can see, this one's a pretty nice landing. Uh, one thing I really want to point out, this is really important, the flight type right here. Okay. I want to explain that our, our schedules are set up in three different uh, subsections. Passengers, that's the normal one, which FTG ACARS defaults to passengers, which is equal, if you look at uh, ACARS right here, it's just normal. Okay, that's normal passenger operations. Now, if you did a historic flight, for example, before you send in your flight report, you want to make sure that flight type is set up as classic. And the way you change it is you just type in C, and this changes to classic. All right. Now, if you did a historical flight, um, this is to let the, the server know that it's you know you're it's, you're sending it a historical flight, and then it can check the database and make sure that the route was correct and everything. Same thing with cargo, for example. If it was a freighter schedule, you want to make sure that you change flight type to freight. So you just type in F. So freight, cargo, same thing. Okay, just type in F and it switches to freight. That's for the exact same reason. It checks all the all the freight cargo routes in the database, make sure you did the correct route and all that. Uh, so in this case, this is just a normal flight. So I type in N, and there it is. It's normal, so that's fine. Uh, you can add any any comments you'd like. Say, well, this is a nice landing. Uh, so I'll just put a lovely approach into Lihui. Nice landing. And also, if, say for example, you flew on uh, Batsim, you can type in uh, Batsim, or if it was IVAO. Same thing. In this case, I didn't fly online, so I just put none. So once you're all done, you, all you have to do is click on Send Pirate, and you'll get a, a message. These are all the messages that, that popped up uh, during the flight. You can press C, and this uh, clears them out. Also, you, uh, this this build of FTG A car is basically no matter what how you fly, it's always going to give you a mock warning. Uh, just ignore that for now. That's still a, a, something we have to work on. Um, so that's done. So once I click on send pirate, there it says pirate sent successfully. Okay, so we're done. So I can now we can go to the website, and if you click on pilot logbook, there you can see my flight. Actually, it's all uppercase. That's great. So there it is. It's right right there in my pilot's logbook. So the flight's been submitted, and we are good to go. That's all there is to it. Alright, I hope this helps. Uh, well, see you in the skies. Happy flying.